don't miss September 18th, guys, because it's going to be a hell of a fight, and you're probably going to see a knockout first round. <laughs> okay. And then I'll fight Eddie whenever he's ready. I don't know how much time he needs. I'll be ready whenever he's ready. I'll never be ready for you. <laughs> I'll probably never be ready for me. <laughs> <laughs>
I'll do another fight in December to gain more experience. And then I'll fight Eddie whenever he's ready. I don't know how much time he needs. I'll be ready whenever he's ready. I'll never be ready for you. <laughs> I'll probably never be ready for me. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know, I don't know. Like, uh, I don't know. As of today, I don't know. Now I'm just enjoying this journey, um, doing what I can do to become better. Eddie has been saying that I'm doing a huge mistake by doing these fights because then he can watch me and learn and la la la. I think it's actually the opposite. I think by doing these fights, I'll gain a lot of experience that's gonna... Um, ring experience. Ring experience that, that, that you can't buy from training sessions. You can't, you can't... Like sparring is great. Yes, sparring is great. It's great to spar. But getting that feeling of competing, like you know, you competed in, in, in powerlifting, arm, arm wrestling, uh, bodybuilding, and strongman, and you learn the most from competing. Absolutely. Because you peak, and you compete, and you learn your body, you, you, you get better each and every time, because you can, you can look back and say, okay, I did that strong, and you do this better, and you involve as an athlete, and that's exactly what I'm doing right now he won't be able to do that because he truly believes that he's good enough to just come and fight me once and in that fight i think that's a huge mistake he is his own boss he can control what he's doing he was offered to do fights as well he he didn't want to do that that's on him um so you know i truly believe by doing these fights i'll have the upper hand I'll, I'll, I'll have more experience. I 100% agree. Yeah. 100% agree. Now, after Devin, that'll be three legit matches under your belt. Yeah. The first two were obviously exhibition matches, but, 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 but still, though, uh, I learned a shit ton, of, ton from, from, from those m m matches. Um, um, and... Um, you know, I would, even if Eddie wants to, to delay the match again, if, even if, 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 if he, he won't be ready until maybe mid next year, that's fine, I'll just do another one. And by the time I finally fight him, I'll just destroy him. <laughs> Sim simple. Yes, that's where my head's at as well. Yeah. I totally agree. Yeah. I want to take your most difficult strongman work that you can think of in your life to date. And then your most difficult boxing session in sparring. You know, which sport do you find more difficult? Before I did any sort of training, I did six months of boxing. It just happened to be the first person who I trained with and taught me everything about the gym when I was 16 years old was a boxer. And he, I just did everything he did. So that means jump roping, shadow boxing, the bag work, everything. And to this day, I still can't think of anything more difficult than that. And at the time, I was very, you know, I was 16, I was 100 and... 95 pounds, you know, I was slim, I was in great shape, um, I was fully natural, natural. Um, and to this day, I still can't think of anything more difficult than just getting in the ring and sparring um, or doing rounds in the bag, or it's just so taxing on the lungs and I just find it so difficult. Uh, maybe because I really don't like cardio, so it never was any bit enjoyable to me. Um, but, so, which do you think is more difficult? More difficult? Um Wow, that's extremely difficult question, but I kind of agree with you. I find boxing very difficult. If you're just talking about the training style itself, yes, then I would say boxing is more difficult. It's been super challenging for myself, and I've been absolutely trained and just like for example today, I did, did ten rounds on the backs and some mid work with my coach. First I started the session off with uh, six minute uh, shadow boxing. I did, I did 10 rounds on back and then mids with my coach. And I literally, I'm just gonna be super transparent and honest here. After the session, I thought I was gonna shit myself. <laughs> uh, <laughs> like literally I was just so tired and my tummy was just so, like, I never had that feeling in in, in sermon. I never thought I was going to literally shit myself. <laughs> but the training session have been so intense sometimes 
that you know I'm either about to throw up or just literally see him. So luckily I never ever really throw up. Uh, if if there's anything, <laughs> it's just it's going down. <laughs> 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 so uh, so I didn't shit myself. Just keeping that story there. Uh, <laughs> I was able to get my gloves and then just run to the toilet. Um, so you actually did have to take a massive shit, right? A there. massive okay. shit. Um, I don't know what it was. Um, but yeah, the sessions sometimes can be extremely hard, extremely exhausting. And what sometimes happens is, you know, especially after a sparring, sparring session, if you, I'll go to the car after the session, I'll shower, I'll, you know, get myself ready. I go to the car, and I, I'm usually I usually just pass out on the way back back to the hotel or back home, where I, wherever I am because I'm just so drained. I'm just so tired, exhausted. I just like I sit in the car and just pass out. I'm not sure if that's normal if if more, many guys do that, but I just pass out, and then just come to the hotel. I try to eat, and then I try to nap always because I'm just that tired. I need to nap. Then I usually train again. Uh, I just finished another session here at the hotel, did a half an hour jog. I'm just jogging right now, I used to sprint, but then I got some pain in my knees, so I'm, I'm taking the, the I'm, I'm resting the sprints for now, just jogging, and I did a shit ton of sit-ups and, and push-ups, um, and then some shadow boxing again here down here, and that, that was my second session of the day. Um, so it's, it's, it's a lot different than Stormman. But I'm enjoying it a lot, and I would agree with you there. That's it, it, it is more challenging. Yeah, one hundred percent. Have you dealt with any injuries since you've been boxing? No injuries. Uh, my body actually feels great. I had some knee pains, but thankfully and luckily, it's going away now because I've stopped the sprinting. I don't. I just think. Sprinting is not good for me. I'm just gonna skip sprinting altogether because the moment I start sprinting, my knees just they can't handle it. So I'm just more on the bike, a soft bike, the roller machine, and then just jogging. If I, if if I, if I jog, stay on the ro roller machine, and yeah, just do some kind of work there, I'm fine, um, and I can get a lot of work work in there. I don't need. My, my endurance is always improving and my, my shape is getting better and better, so I don't need the sprinting, I think. You know, when I stopped powerlifting and started doing all these other sports, like strongman and wrestling, I wasn't nearly as involved in powerlifting, not just the training, but like with the athletes in powerlifting or like who was breaking what record. Or I started seeing less and less powerlifters on my Instagram feed because I just wasn't watching any, to be honest, because uh, my head was just somewhere else. So. You know, people are discussing like who's gonna get the five hundred five kilogram deadlift record, and or this or that record in strongman. And like, have you been following the sport at all since you transitioned? Like, has it still been interesting? Not as much, but you know, slightly. You know, I might honestly. It's funny. It's the same thing because I used to play basketball when I was younger. Then when I when I made the tr transition from basketball to lifting weights, I just stopped watching basketball because I was just so obsessed with obsessed with lifting weights. Uh, so yeah, it's, it's kind of the same here, like, it's not like I'm complete, I still enjoy watching it if it's there, but sometimes I might, might not know for sure until maybe a week before, because uh, someone, someone tells me or something, because I'm just not paying so much attention to it, you can just so focus on what I'm doing. Yeah, so I, I, I guess just lose. I'm not following. I'm not following as much, but I still enjoy the sport. I think. I, I mean, I love strongman, but um, I'm just not doing it right now, so I'm not paying as much attention <coughs> to it. Yeah, yeah, I get that. I totally get that. Will we have an arm wrestling rematch? Me and you. Yeah. Uh, not right now. That was just a joke, by the way. Okay, 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 okay. okay. <laughs> like, I just know for a fact that I'll 100% lose to you. And then, you know me, you know, I'm just, yeah. I I don't really take many risks when, it's, when, when it comes to my body, because my body is my work. And arm wrestling wouldn't be the smartest thing for me to do right now. It's a lot of attention on the biceps. <laughs> Um, so I wouldn't do it. I wouldn't do it personally. 
lot of the viewers probably might not might not know that I, for example, have stopped all together with all of the weights because my coach used to recommend me not to do it. But I'm doing a lot of body weight stuff though. Okay, push-ups, pull-ups. Push-ups, pull-ups, uh, sit-ups, and um, that seems to be fine with me. And I don't really, I don't really have the, don't want to say the passion, but I'm just fine not doing it because I'm just trying to be a better boxer, and I'm just going to listen to what he says. He has more finished, worse than experience than I do, and um, if he says it's not going to benefit me, then so be it. Do you think there's ever a point in life you'll make a return to strong? No. Okay. Um. Well, I don't like the word. I don't want to be so. Um, Yeah, uh, you know, never say never, but right now my hat, my hat says no now, but we'll see guys, we'll see, we'll see, we'll see what the future brings to us, but I, I just can't see myself willing to push my body through that again, it's a lot, and I wouldn't want to go back to Strongman just to be back. Right. I would want to go back to win. And to do that, I would have to push my body a lot. And for what? I won everything there is to win. It's not like I was won one title. I won literally all the shows, all the big shows. And there's nothing else for me to win, really. So um, why would I do that for myself? For what? There's Honest between me and you and the viewers, there's not a whole lot of money in the sport. That's right. Um, so I, there's, there's no really reason for me to sacrifice my health for something that I've already done. Like I've, I've, I've already sacrificed my health. Luckily, I'm healthy, and I want to be there for my family. I want to be there for my wife, for my son, for my daughter, um, for my parents, sisters. You know. Absolutely. You know, those jitters and that nervousness you get before you would do a PR attempt, or in your case, world record attempts. Mm -hmm. You get maybe it's weeks before, days before, mm -hmm. right before. Do you get that same nervousness before an exhibition match, before you're getting those past two matches you've done? Did you get that same level of nervousness, like uneasiness? Yeah, definitely. Or excitement even? Yeah, for sure, both excitement, nervous, nervousness, do you find it as intense as, for example, when you went for the 501 kilogram deadlift? You know, it was the emotion that went into that. When you get into the ring, you know. I haven't, I haven't found that yet. I would say the strong intention were much higher. Um, maybe because I, I put so much pressure on myself, for example, to win the World Series Man, to win the Arnold Strongman Classic, to be able to pull 501. I put so much pressure on myself and I told people that I was gonna do it. So I don't know, like, I haven't felt as nervous or as stressed in boxing yet. Maybe that will come, but I still get nervous, but when I think about it, like, the memories, and I think about how I felt, oof, sometimes it was just overwhelming, you know? I would just, um, and, yeah, it would be overwhelming and um, just too much somehow. Yeah, it's like a weight on your shoulders that can't be lifted until you do what you said you're going to do. Yeah, exactly. You know, but I think I can understand that that hasn't happened yet. Maybe the match with Eddie will bring that side out of you out. Maybe because that would worse. mean a lot to me. Like, I really, like these fights I'm doing now are like a practice fights before that the fight. So it's like, it obviously means a lot. Like if I would lose to any of the exhibition matches or, or, or the fights I'm doing right now, honestly, I, it wouldn't bother me too much. Um, but it would bother me a lot if I would lose to Eddie Hall. Um, I, I, I really want to not knock him out. Just 
between me, you, and the viewers. Don't tell anyone else. <laughs> uh, I, I, I sincerely want to mark, mark him out, um, like that. Like, uh, I'm doing everything I can to do it. And I hope he's doing the same thing. Because I don't want to hear any excuses. I don't want to hear him say something, you know, like, oh, I got my bicep, I, I ripped my bicep, oh, I didn't feel good that day, oh, I, I shit myself in the corner because my tummy was hurting, you know. <laughs> I'm not going to make any excuses, you know. So I don't want to hear that from him, him either. Yeah, the, the, the best man wins. That's right. You want him on his best day. Mm -hmm. You know, you want the best version of him. So it'll be satisfying when you win. That's why I'm waiting. That's why I'm, yeah. that's why I'm waiting and just um, giving him the time that he needs. Tell me when you're ready and I'll fight you. Yeah. yeah. That's great. Great sportsmanship. I respect it. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. Well, we can certainly end on that note. Thank you for catching me and the viewers up with everything. Absolutely. All the plasma friends. And guys, make sure to check the fight September 18th, um, coresport.com. Maybe you can put the link up for them so they can Absolutely. check out. Yeah. The, the In the description box below. Guys, years ago, years ago, Devin and Thor had an arm wrestling match. Really? Right. It's been an exhibition match. Really. It's an exhibition. Of course, Thor's not an arm wrestler. Um, <laughs> nowhere on arm wrestler. <laughs> not, in the, not in the slightest. No. I think it was just that match. The one we had in Iceland, and the one we had again here in Dubai, so three in your whole life, probably. <laughs> anyway. Yeah, actually, that's close to being true. So, this kind of like a vendetta, like you even the score. <laughs> yeah, kind of. Even though, like, to be fair, I should have taken him to Strongman, because he is the best in arm wrestling. That's right. And I was the best in Strongman, so I should have basically taken him in a Strongman contest, a bit of him there. That would have been like a fair, fair contest. You still have the upper hand in boxing, though. Has, I still have the upper hand, that's true. Yeah. He has, I think, zero experience. He has ex special forces, I hear. So. He does, and a lot of his fans and people online are saying that he's going to beat my ass. So there are people out there that truly believe that he can beat my ass. So, uh, I mean, we'll see. I'm not going to take him, I'm not going to go there and underestimate him. Yeah. I'm going to go there. And I'm training like I'm training to fight at the hall. I'm training to fight. Basically, I'm training to fight the best. In the, I, I, like I'm training to fight basically, you know, Tyson Fury. Basically, okay. I have that mindset. You know, I'm not training to fight someone that's not in a shape or or not ready or isn't like I'm doing whatever I can to be as good as possible. I'm willing to spar with anyone. So if if, if there's anyone here in Dubai that wants to spar with me. DM me and I'll spar you any day of the week because I need the experience. I'm by the way about to spar with a guy called Martin McCauley, who is ranked number 13 in, 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 in the world in the heavyweight division. He is gonna he's gonna be fighting by the way in the in, in the undercard uh, on September 18th. Billy Nelson, my coach, is is coaching that guy. And um, yeah, so I'll be able to spar with him for a few, probably a few sessions before that. He's coming here September 4th, I think. So that's going to be a huge experience for me to be able to spar with him. Oh, huge experience. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm just trying to get as good as possible. Don't miss September 18th, guys, because it's going to be a hell of a fight. And you're probably going to see a knockout first round. <laughs> okay, big words have just been said. So guys, want to see that? Knock out on the first round, link in the description box below. Support Thor, support Core Sports, and we'll see you guys very soon on the next one. We're out of here.